Hi, presently I am going to discuss about the farmers agitation which is going on in seven states of India. Farming has become a sin in India, slowly and slowly. The farmer is treated as a third class citizen, he, who is supposed to be treated as a first class citizen. India is an agriculture country. That name has transformed into industrialists and IT and so and so. The villages are transformed into cities and slowly the agriculture is suppressed. Most of the farmers are left for suicide or to turn as laborers because they doesn't get the value or the right to fix the value, the correct price of their yield. They are supposed to produce and they are supposed to sell at a fixed price fixed by somebody else. Now, most of the benefits and schemes and subsidies at every level, right from fertilizer to production, transportation and all is provided by the government, even loan waivers of crores and crores of rupees. Where is this all being ended? Being a taxpayer, I have every right to ask this that because it's my money which is giving, being given as subsidies. Now let me explain you how this is happening. The banks and all who are giving loans are taking a security deposit. Means the person who is having the cultivation land is only eligible for this loan. Now 75% of cultivation in India is done by lease farmers. Means the person who wants to do cultivation takes land from a land owner on a lease basis and shares the profit. Now the bank is giving loan for the lease owner? No, because he doesn't have a security deposit. He suppose he's forced to get to private finances. And what are the private finances are doing? They are using this promissory note. This promissory note is used like a weapon to kill this society. I don't know why the government is still valuing this. It's supposed to be banned. It doesn't, the promissory note doesn't have any accountability, any kind of accountability like a stamp paper, like when it is taken, how it is taken and all. And most of the farmers are uneducated and illiterate. They only know farming. They don't, they are illiterate, they cannot read, they cannot write. So any of the government schemes don't reach them. And they are forced to take loans from the private finances. Their private finances take this uh, opportunity and uh, make the farmers sign on a blank promissory note. That is like a weapon on the neck for a farmer. It is slowly destroying this community. The promissory note should be banned just like 1000 rupees and 500 rupees demonetization. And you can see more than half of the civil court cases will be reduced because they are all depend on this fake promissory note. When there is no accountability, why are you giving judicial value this to this promissory note? And the political parties which always do agitation whenever there is an increase in the price of an onion or tomato or petrol or anything, they burn idols of ongoing political ruling parties and all. Then what happens when the farmer is not getting the proper price? Like right now we can see tomato is sold for 10 rupees in retail market and 5 rupees and less than that in the wholesale market. If that is the thing, then how much the farmer who is producing, producing it is actually getting it? For how many rupees he is getting it? He is able to sell it for 1 rupee and or less than that? You, how many times agitation has taken place when the farmer has thrown his entire crop onto the road or left it in the market just for free because he doesn't get even the money uh, so that he can take it back to his home, the product he produced? No one responds. Uh, everyone wants to get everything cheaper. They don't bother for how much money the producer is getting it. Now the farmer is on strike because 
there is no support and there is no proper rule i don't know what the agricultural officers are doing how the value of a particular product goes low because of over supply because there is most one kind of crop being produced more how why don't the government control it what are the agricultural officers are doing what are the banks which are giving loan are doing what are the fertilizers who are selling it doing why only one crop is being produced in hectares and hectares and finally resulting in an oversupply and dropping of price it should be properly regulated the banks should give loan for the lease farmer also the government should pro- register the profession of a person also on the other on that basis the bank should provide loans being a tax payer i have every right to ask this question where my money is being landed use it for good use even the prime minister or a president or a common person like you and me we are how to eat the from the produced yield of a farmer and a farmer should not be left unsupported or should not be treated like a third class person in india i request you to share this video a lot and hope the government reacts to it thank you